And the book is something, you put a lot of time in on that. It goes oh, over yeah. a long period of time. It's an addendum to the Vietnam book, do you see? Or yeah, ep- well, I think there's a trilogy now. A oh, trilogy. There's, there's the Vietnam Inc., right. Agent Orange, and then Vietnam at Peace. Vietnam at Peace. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now Did I you? can send my intention to Cambodia. All <laughs> right. As you've been, I know you've been interested in that. Well, welcome. Welcome very much to Conversation, where it's pr- uh, a great personal pleasure and honor to welcome to the program Philip Jones Griffin, who might, Griffins, who might be, uh, in many people's mind, perhaps the premier photojournalist uh, of, the, of the era. He was five years the uh, uh, president of the Magnum Photos. He had a definitive book, uh, Vietnam. Uh, he uh, is going to talk today pretin- particularly about a book that he's put together more recently called Agent Orange, Collateral Damage in Vietnam. He has another book we're not going to be discussing uh, called Vietnam at Peace. He's a war correspondent of the highest order. And Philip, welcome very, very much to Conversation. Thank you Great very pleasure. Much. Thank you. We've been here. You've been here with us in the past, and I thank you very much for coming in. I wonder, we could, maybe you could talk just a little bit, if you don't mind, uh, about your background. You're out of Wales, that sort of thing, and also I know you worked at Boots. Yep. As a chemist, it gives you some understanding of the docks and other matters, but could you share a little of your background, and yeah. we'll get into the sub substance well, of the Well, I'm, I'm from a little village in Wales. Uh-huh. Um, I was only ever frightened of one thing, and that is boredom. Uh-huh. Boredom. Uh-huh. It's a great motivator, boredom. When you've <laughs> counted one million pills by hand, you <laughs> yeah. know there has to be more to life. Yes. And uh, I took up photography, um, and uh, really since for about 50 years now, all I've done is to run around the world, uh-huh. because we know that uh, Good boys go to heaven, uh-huh. bad boys go everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I've been just 140 countries or so, and wow. um, uh-huh. I'm, I'm always running around. But it's always Southeast Asia that's mm. really fascinated me more yeah. than anywhere else. And I've spent a long time covering the war in Vietnam, and I've been back since the end of the war 25 times. Wow, and that much in Vietnam? In Vietnam, I yeah. know you've been to uh, Cambodia. Well, no, and I, I've been to Cambodia. I haven't counted Cambodia. So oh, I that's, see. That's I see. my next book. Oh, I see. Publicity uh, reasons, I'll have right. to count how many times I've been How there. many countries did you say? 140. Wow, you yeah. got them almost all in. W- well, not, uh, quite. My, not my, quite. My percentage keeps mm. going down because mm. they're making new countries quicker That's than true. I can visit them. That's true, you can't keep up, right? It's yeah. like speciation or something. <laughs> quite, yeah. quite. Yeah, but you um, were there in Vietnam early on? Would well, you say you were there with the early ones? Yeah, yeah, 66. That's um, pretty early, yeah. And uh, uh-huh. I stayed... Uh, I actually was in country, as they put it, mm-hmm. fi- three years mm-hmm. over over a five-year period, uh-huh. and that was to do my first book called Vietnam Inc. on the war itself, yeah. and that was just recently republished. Yes, um, it's an extremely powerful yeah. book. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think also it's the one. The reason I'm rather proud of it yeah. is a that 30 years after its original publication. I did not have to change a word. Right. Um, and also, I think I, I concentrated on what was really important, which was that America was trying to impose its cultural values on the Vietnamese. Uh-huh. And I also introduced a lot of the sort of what could be described as the ecological problems, the uh-huh. pro- also the problems of, of consumerism being imposed on them, on the, uh, really yeah. globalization. Yeah. I think I was probably into globalization long before people had coined that Even phrase. coined the term, yeah. yeah. Right, huh? um, so uh, I'm, I'm rather proud of that. Then uh, as I went back there, I, I felt that uh, the one thing I'd missed as a correspondent there during the war mm-hmm. was the subject of Agent Orange uh-huh. because we knew very little about it. The mm-hmm. first reports we had uh, came from Hanoi, saying that America was using poison, poison gas and was causing problems. Uh, chemical uh, warfare, warfare. It was, was what they were accused of, which is in fact correct, of course. Uh, then um, the first sort of information we really had, hard information we had, uh, with some newspapers in Saigon published photographs of some of these deformed children that uh-huh. had been born. Uh-huh. President Thieu uh-huh. of South Vietnam immediately uh, closed the newspapers down, accused them of s- being anti the war effort, yes. and said that the kids were deformed because of uh, venereal disease. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, yeah. we know that's totally Th- this untrue. This is something we want to talk to you about, whether or not there is something to this, particularly this dioxin thing, which well, is well, really of course, a huge it's, it's, subject. It's yeah. the dioxin that, yeah. that causes it. So that yeah. caused me to do my, my sort of second book on Vietnam, which is mm-hmm. this one, Agent Orange, mm-hmm. Collateral Damage in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. I was fortunate enough to find a publisher. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried For a very unpopular in the corporate community well, book, I would think, Yes, or in the established uh, Well, you, you, yeah. 
Well, I think uh, uh, there well are there are this, first there are publishers that are prepared to go up against, as you what you might say, Washington. Yeah. Um, but in this case, uh, some of these pictures are very hard to look at. This is not a book you give a no. pregnant woman to read. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. To look at, uh, you certainly don't give it to most people. Um, you know, it, it's sort of <laughs> uh, you have to pick at the right moment mm -hmm. to look at it because mm. some of the pictures are, are, are pretty very graphic, very graphic yeah. indeed. And I think when you've had children of your own. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these pictures were taken, not all of them, but uh, a good percentage before I had children of my own. Yeah. And I found it much more difficult taking pictures of these deformed children when I'd had kids of my own. Yeah, it does focus the mind, doesn't uh, it? Well, it certainly does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that I had to find a publisher that not only was prepared to go against the tide in Washington, but uh -huh. also to risk putting out pictures where people might want to sort of close the book. Did you have problems with that back in the days when you were filing uh, pictures from Vietnam in the war front and they would say you're undercutting the war effort and you were photojournalistic, still photography. There was also some film and television and the press and you know some of the early people who began to build up a yeah. lack of support for the war effort in Vietnam and That's was phony. that something? Totally phony. Or you, you were on the ground. Well, well you know the ground, what the yeah, reality is. The, the, the fact is that for me personally, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 I believe that if the, anyone does close a book or closes their eyes, then you fail as a photographer. The thing to do is to make them cry and make them feel uh, some emotion towards uh, identifying emotionally with the subject oh. uh, rather, than, um, uh, r rather than being horrified. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but as to the bigger issue mm -hmm. of whether the press yeah. lost the war, yeah, right, uh, that uh, that's nonsense, pure nonsense. The yeah. press were way behind the public opinion. They were? Oh, absolutely. You think so? The they people they on the ground the the who knew? Uh, uh, yeah. No, but they were the, yeah. the people, the people of yeah. America, uh -huh. the people of America where, where knew what was happening. There was barely uh, anyone who didn't know someone who'd lost somebody in Vietnam. Yeah. And the war was brought home mm -hmm. uh, in a very realistic way. I mean, yeah. the way it is now mm. with Iraq, yeah. it, it is, uh, you know, they, we, you never see an American wounded. You never see them coming home. They won't you let it happen. No, they, 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 you can't bring coffins into Dover. You can't e photograph. Exactly. It, it's illegal to photograph. Uh, yeah, exactly. Does that but, bother but, you? But, but, that, that, yeah. but even that doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. You know why? Because yeah. enough people know people in their small communities yeah. that have lost family members and uh -huh. as a result those people are beginning to say look we were misled about this war and exactly Cindy the Sheehan same and company down in all Texas of those yeah, yeah in exactly uh -huh. the same way that people during the Vietnam War said the same thing we are being misled you were in Vietnam in 66 you were aware of it in 65 65 I think is about when there had been a thousand Americans killed if I'm not mistaken uh, yeah the, the numbers Compr were pretty, pretty low yeah pretty they're low pretty then. low yeah. then and everything had built yeah. up and by the time we got to be 1968 mr. Johnson as the president I guess there were 500,000 troops there. Yeah, half And it's up uh, like that. And remember, the political consequence was such that he had to. There was such a, uh, a, a, a counter force going here that he had to say he would not run for president in May or March of 1968. That's, uh, uh, it was later uh, in the, the approval. Uh, yeah. The approval rating for his handling of the war was down about 38% at the time. It had gone down in 1968. He resigned as the president. The approval rating for the handling of Mr. Bush's Iraq incursion is now about 38%. Yeah. But he seems to be sailing on well, uh, he, there, there uh, all full There are ahead. differences between yeah, the two, yeah. and that is that in the case of, uh, of uh, Johnson, mm. uh, the, the Tet Offensive was, yes. the, was the big wake-up call to America. The, the, yeah. the Viet Cong were very clever. Hanoi is very, very clever. Mm. During 67, they didn't initiate many attacks mm -hmm. so that America was, were able to say, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh -huh. We all joke, yes, and Ho Chi Minh is holding it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. But, but, but still, the train. They, they, were able, they were able to say that. But, and then um, Amer America, uh, the Viet Cong initiated, the North Vietnamese Army initiated fights along those meaningless hilltops mm -hmm. uh, in, in the northern part of South Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And that's something the Marines understood. The Army understood that as well. They all sort of concentrated on hilltops because that's in the instruction manual, yeah. running up and down hills, taking yeah. hilltops. Uh, Hamburger but, Hill. Uh, yeah. But all Hamburger Hill yeah. was the most famous of them. Yeah. And then, of course, when that was happening, uh -huh. uh, Jap was getting all his forces down in the lowlands to mm -hmm. launch the Tet Offensive. Yeah. So it was a, it was a great, a masterly a stroke uh -huh. by the North Vietnamese to do that. Uh -huh. And of course, when that happened, it was such 
a blow yeah. to wake up that morning and discover mm -hmm. the Viet Cong were all over South yeah, Vietnam. Yeah, and they had attacked in the embassy. Including into, into the embassy grounds. Yeah. yeah, and they had to fight it over. They had to get back into the embassy. Yeah. 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 So I, I think that... Uh, um, and there were a great many more troops there than we have, say, in yeah. Iraq. These may be overdrawn, but yeah. I'm just wondering, you yeah. know... Uh, but of course, uh, also what you have in Vietnam are the Vietnamese who, <laughs> you mm. know, are so ingenious mm. uh, at, at overcoming obstacles. And but they did have outside support. They had support coming in from the uh, Russians, from yeah, the Chinese, sure, yeah. others and everything, yeah, which you don't have in Iraq now, well, apparently. Uh, yeah, apparently. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but I, what I'm saying is, do, what, I'm wondering, I don't want to make projections, but are we going to get into it? It took us after 68 to 75, seven years, and we lost. 58,000 Americans, and we were responsible, or that w incursion was responsible for close on to 4 million Southeast yeah, Asians. at least 4 million. I hope that mm. we're not in a thing where we're going to be looking for peace, uh, an uh, honorable way out, a mm. peace with just, a peace with honor, such as we did in the Vietnam thing, and build mm. up and put mm. in more, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. It's just something that's on the yeah. mind of everybody. Well, indeed, the comparisons as, as are beginning yeah, to as emerge. It should be. But to get back to the subject of this book, Agent right, Orange, yeah. what, I mean, essentially what mm -hmm. happened was that um, America had this idea that um, by defoliating the jungles of Southeast Asia, they would be able to see the troops infiltrating. They would mm -hmm. be able to sort of pinpoint them. Yeah. That was the, the idea. It, it wasn't quite as simple as that because even in the days of Ziem, Mm. way back in 63, 64, right. uh, he discovered that the quickest way to get people to come out of their villages and go into these concentration camps, he called them strategic hamlets, yeah, was, was to defoliate their rice crops and everything in their, their villages so that they'd either starve or go into the camps mm. and be fed. Yeah. And therefore he could prove to the Americans that these people were running away from the communists. Yeah. Ah. The, um, ah. the result is that the, the, the thing always to remember is that Agent Orange was not dropped to, to produce deformed babies. Uh -huh. it, was, it was for a, a, a relatively innocuous thing, which was to get rid of the foliation that was, that was to, do, to defoliate the forest. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, so yeah, we have to But the, res the result today is that there are two prongs of what's happened to Vietnam. There's uh -huh. the ecological one, yeah. which is horrendous, mm -hmm. and then there's the human one, the way in which people have been affected, so that you have for instance, all over Vietnam, you have a total uh, enormous increase in the number of uh, cases of liver cancer, for instance. The EPA now says that a quarter of all cancers in America are caused by dioxin. Now Wait a minute, who says that? The EPA? The Environmental Protection Agency. Well, that, 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 that is a huge thing because dioxin is almost ubiquitous. Well, because absolutely uh -huh. it is. And, and uh, uh, that's a big problem. Well, indeed. Uh -huh. now, now, in Vietnam, what happened was the defoliant they were dropping, and Agent Orange was the most famous of the rainbow defoliants. They, they call them that because they have different colored stripes or different types. On the canisters. On, on the canisters, on yeah. these 44 gallon drums. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Agent Orange w was the, the, the one that was m mostly used. And that contained a, an adulterant, if you like, something that shouldn't have been there, which is the dioxin. And this was because um, a company that was making so many gallons a month were now making a hundred times more to supply the war in Vietnam. Dow was that be well, one, Dow of was one of the American chemical uh, industry. Yeah, uh, 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 the same company that brought us uh, uh, yes, uh, napalm. Uh, napalm, of course. Yes, oh. uh, the Diamond Alkali, Hercules. There's a whole slew of these. Many of them based in New Jersey and, oh. and around the, the East Coast here. But they were all over the place. They even had Dow even had a small plant in New Zealand making the stuff. Good grief! Yeah, and, right. And, right. And, uh, and around that town, uh -huh. they've never could never understand why so many babies were being born deformed in that uh -huh. town. Uh -huh. But now they know uh -huh. because of the free of information, that information only came out quite recently, within the last year. And it has tied into this dioxin thing? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. always the dioxin. Really? The dioxin oh. is the killer. Uh -huh. Dioxin is it's class, it's always described as the most poisonous material on the planet Earth. Mm. Now, what you have to understand about dioxin is this. The concentration is so infinitesimal to do damage. Uh -huh. It's the equivalent of tr like dissolving... Like homeopathy or something. Uh, of, uh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, it's the equivalent... Mm -hmm of dropping a few grains of salt into an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Good grief. That is the concentration that does you harm. Now, and you said that was inadvertently put into the... Or well, inadver orange? inadvertently. Th they always knew that in the production mm -hmm. of the Asian orange, there would be some dioxin. But as one person I quote in the book mm -hmm. says, 
Well, we knew there was about 10 times more in there than there should have been. Uh -huh. But as we were dropping it on gooks, yeah. Gook. nobody cared. Yeah, gooks. Nobody Wogs. cared. Uh, what? But, but of course, they were also dropping it on their own people. Uh, see. And so the, the soldiers. The really. soldiers, American soldiers. And we got results of the soldiers. Oh, the coming, American soldiers uh, came back with a whole back. slew yeah. of medical conditions. And a lot of people here wanted to deny that because, uh, first of all, there are great economic consequences well, well, that course. would follow from uh, a responsible uh, uh, addressing uh, of, of the issue, right? Uh, the, uh, Americans yeah. have been fond on, on, uh, on uh, sort of finding fault with any institution that makes money. Yeah, uh, right? makes uh, money or sh puts them in a bad. And you, you were telling me before we started, we said we, uh, we had three to four million people. You said that we have the wall in Washington? Well, and that if they were no, to well put I mean, a comparable one, yes, uh, uh, just to put it in perspective. Well, in perspective, I mean, they, they, in Washington there is a war memorial. Yes, and, and there's a density, that density of names written down. Mm -hmm. um, and of it's the American law. Of the American people dead is 150 yards long. 150 yards. Uh, yards. But if the same monument was built in Vietnam for the Vietnamese dead, it would be nine miles long. Good God. That, anyway. is, that is the proportion. And of course, it would keep, keep growing every year. Uh, because because the, the dioxin's killing Exactly, them now, because yeah. in the same way that mm -hmm. names are added mm -hmm. now to the war memorial in Washington mm -hmm. by people who died from dioxin yeah. poisoning in America. They are doing that. Yes, uh -huh. they are now, yes. Uh -huh. In the same, so there's a few more names keep and those being names added. Are, uh, and those names are being added that they died of the ioxin uh, poison. Is in the record that they died oh, for that reason, no or are they still trying to cover no, that no, up? No, 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 no. They, they, the, the um, uh, various organizations that monitor this, mm -hmm. uh, there, there is no confusion anymore. Or the is science it is understood. Uh, it's to it's to totally understood. Is there ever going to be a reckoning? Or should there be? Well, or of course there should be. Uh -huh. There should be, but there are, there's, there's various reasons for that. But as far as uh, as far as the, the, the there are people now dying mm -hmm. in Vietnam mm -hmm. from things that happened, you mm -hmm. know, 30 or 40 years ago, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and we're not talking about unexploded mines. That's no. another problem. Okay. Another huge problem. Uh, yeah. But uh, the the dioxin in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, there are places in Vietnam now where there are hot spots of dioxin, mm -hmm. which are, are uh, incredibly dangerous. People living around there continue to die young, as it were. Uh -huh. And now be deformed and so forth. And you give, for give birth yeah. to deformed children. Uh -huh. That's, that's, you know, it's a ro having a baby in Vietnam now is a, is a roulette game. You, you said that, yeah, that the woman asked, has it got its arms or it's born uh, yeah, or something yeah. in a yeah. routine well, way? Well, that woman told me, you know, when I, my baby was born, I, I the first thing I asked is, it's got his arms and its legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are these are these sound to me awfully like you know a war crimes. Well, uh, I, I, I we don't use uh, that language as it relates to us because we won or something. Well, you know? uh, well, uh, indeed, uh, the, the winners usually. A lot of karma there, don't yeah. you think? Well, well, of course, uh, you, they, the, it is. Uh, common to say that the yeah. history of a war is written by those that win, yeah. uh, it, with one exception, the Vietnam War, uh -huh. and that's where I come in. Yeah, because I tried they won. Uh, they won, yeah. and we lost, but we have, we're in control of the media, as yeah. it were, yeah. and that's why I think this book, mm -hmm. plus the one, my new book on Vietnam at Peace, yeah, right, right, I, right. I try to I try to be fair and yeah. show no, I know. Yeah, right. wha you know what's happened and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the, the trials and tribulations that the country has had to pass through. Mm -hmm. um, How long have you been in uh, working? Uh, w d were some of these taken uh, uh, more recently in your li uh, yeah. total career? I mean, this, uh, this book about Agent Orange. Yeah, the, the, the first picture, yeah. the, the earliest picture is 1980, and the latest picture was 2002. Okay. And the book was so published in 2003. And Vietnam Inc. was published in? The, the, it originally came out in 71, 71, and it was republished in 2001. Right, right, right. Two th so so that's, uh, there are two yeah. different phases. This is yeah. sort of an aftermath thing, back revisitation. Yeah. You've yeah. been there doing uh, it. And, uh, and you had a particular notice of this back in the 70s? Or you, were you linking into that there was this uh, long-term damage that was being delivered? Down on yes, but, but uh, you know, I used to work in a hospital. Yes, uh, I know, I and you've got, you've got a pharmacist uh, uh, yeah. background, you and, understand. And, and, and I, I knew uh, in those days, mm -hmm. back in Britain, mm -hmm. that uh, when a deformed baby was born, mm -hmm. uh, th they would, you know, pr give it milk instead of Instead of, uh, instead of milk, they would give it cream uh -huh. in the bottle, and that mm -hmm. would give it acidosis, and the baby would die. Uh -huh. And that was the way, uh, a rather inhumane, really? slash humane way uh -huh. of preventing the mother from seeing some monstrosity or whatever. Um, uh, knowing that, 
But others I knew that that would not happen if the nurse or the midwife or the matron on the ward or even the patient were Catholic because, uh -huh. you know, the Catholic religion believes that you should always save uh, the baby no matter how deformed. Uh -huh. So when I heard in, in, um, in, in 1970, um, it was 69 when the papers were produced in Saigon showing these deformed kids. Mm -hmm. and, and when I got back uh, in, the, in early 70, um, I spent a lot of time going to Catholic orphanages mm -hmm. where I assumed that I would find these children if mm -hmm. they were, uh, existed. Yeah. I was never allowed into a Catholic orphanage. Really? I, I was convinced they'd been told to keep the press away. Mm -hmm. So the result is I didn't see an Agent Orange child victim until 1980 when I went back to Vietnam after I'll the end there. of the war. Yeah, really. And that's when I... You, you were aware of the potentiality, the possibility, but it was just kept from you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. It was, it was kept very much a secret. Uh -huh. uh, it was considered uh, uh, very... Uh, um, well, it would, it would, I think they would have said, had you, had you shown those pictures and I, had I film, photographed them and sent them back to Magnum, we would have distributed them around the world, that we would have been accused of, you know, spreading enemy propaganda, probably. Yeah, yeah. right, right. And that's something. Also, the ramifications of that are very great because there gets to be, we just had a thing about Vioxx. Oh yeah, with Mira, well, with Merck, yes, and that the mal, you know, and the, the use of these things, and then if the government's in, re what what happens? There's no response. Did we ever have any kind of a right? You you you're familiar? I mean, four million people, a lot of people. Nine miles long? How long would it be? Yeah. The name nine? Did you N say nine miles long? Nine yeah. miles long. People yeah. that we're responsible. I mean, there are a lot of forces there. We're not totally responsible. There are other things, but in a large sense, we were. Have we ever done anything, in your view, in terms of the, that that adequately filled the comma gap in, front, uh, in, in terms of the mistake? As Mr. McNamara well, said, we well, made well a mistake, but yeah, other than just let the, well, you no, know, I, I think how, do we, the how do we deal with the, that? The, the, the American government has behaved in a very callous way uh, and, and not accepted because they any... Because get away with it. Well, again, they not accepted any responsibility at all. Um, I think individual Americans um, are, are, have been doing some great work. For instance, some of the best work that is, is been done by an ex-GI mm. uh, who looks after these children uh, and uh, he, he does an, an amazing job of looking after them. I mean, you mean in Vietnam? In Vietnam, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, I've yeah. featured him in the book. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, so on, a, on an individual basis, and for, for instance, um, a lot of the money that's needed to help these kids, uh -huh. um, none of it comes from the American government. Well, it comes not from not private sources? Or private or sources, yeah. Private sources yeah. only. Yeah. The government has never, as they say in England, owned up. Quite, it, well, it, exactly. I mean, as a nation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't even ever apologize, yeah. I don't think. Did no, we? No, no. No, no we no, don't apologize no. because we don't make mistakes or what, yeah. you know. Well, well, I, I think... And I, I don't know if it's apropos of our current administration, yeah, yeah. but it seems to be absolutely impossible to think they could ever do anything wrong. Uh, quite. It's, a, it's an arrogance of power that they used well, to say? Uh, well, I, I, th I think so, yes. And uh, I would argue, uh, yeah. uh, if I put my... If I would to put Dude, a Madison, uh, uh, yeah. if I was to put a Madison Avenue cap on my head, I would go to Washington and say, "Look, you guys need good PR." Yeah, for bad. God's sake, yeah. Why don't you just help these Vietnamese? I mean, yeah. the the the, the, the uh, actual amount of money required to make a huge difference. Make uh, a difference uh, to these people uh, that have uh, very little of anything. Oh, One little bit of something would really help. The poorest of the poor. But they don't want to admit that but they the made a... Uh, that it yeah. we were in the yeah. wrong. They try to pretend that by not even talking about it, yeah. that somehow the problem will go away. Have they tried to argue that the oh, whole idea about dioxin or Agent Orange, these people, I heard you say venereal disease or something yeah. else, they tried to argue it wasn't our fault, it doesn't happen, we burned down the village to save it, but they had problems, but it was because they and, well, well, you know, well, they tried to deny the uh, evidence that well, Agent uh, Orange was uh, causing it. Well, yes, no, no there, there are. You can still find people, um, I, I, people. I, I, who, uh, you know, the, the handmaidens, mm. if you like, uh, the whores of the of the chemical companies in Washington who will write stuff saying um, that uh, Agent Orange is perfectly harmless. Well, there's um, those kind of people all over the place, well, K well, Street and all over the media and all over yeah. the whole system but, but, uh, but in uh, great uh, multitude. Well, indeed, and yeah. therefore I, I was ex fully <coughs> expecting some of those people to <laughs> condemn Lower this the book, book yeah. you know, and to, and to sort of attack Have me. They? Not one word, not really? a single word. Maybe they wanted to die at a death of, uh, you know, a thousand ignorings or well, something. Well, they course. don't want to call attention to an issue, yeah. particularly this dioxin issue, because well, that could have yeah. huge ramifications sure. if it got well, some indeed. political legs, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Well, look, well, I think yeah, 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 we okay. do, well, if yeah, we should do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps we could look at a few pictures. Yeah, we've um, got, we've got, let me set it up or sort of in a way. Because yeah. this book, let me just show you, do you mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go this is the book, and it has a kind of, it's a little difficult to see. Let's see what it looks like. But I think it's worth ta maybe taking a second to look at it because it's got an unusual cover, if I may say so. And I think it might be worth, uh, could we show that? You see, this is the cover of the book, it's Agent Orange. And maybe you could describe well, what yes, these it, lines it, it, are. They're not just uh, no, but, uh, but a modernist uh, uh, painting How did you call something. it? A, 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 how did you say the cover was? It was a, a, I prefer the word mysterious. Mysterious, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm hoping that. Uh, no, but there's a, there's a pattern to this. There's yeah, yeah. Th these, well, these are the actual lines of the, um, of the spraying runs here. The spraying uh, runs of the, of the helicopters? Well, no, no, the planes. They the used, planes. They used uh, uh, C-123 cargo planes all right. fitted with nozzles who would spray. So th these are all spraying runs over a particular area. And if we, if we yeah, quickly let me, let me look on the inside that, I don't here, think we have a photo. Because here, here, so here, yeah. Yeah, here it's a little easier to see. Yeah. And what amazed me, I, I was very lucky to find this particular part of, of the map because it shows uh, that these spraying runs, you see, and when they re this is actually a reservoir where people got their drinking water from. Oh, wonderful. So, so they actually came down. And of course, w rather than stop when they got to the edge of the, w of the water here, uh, they actually just kept dumping it into the water itself. And, and, and some of these are actually done over the water, and it, which right I Right into the drinking uh, reservoir. I find that particularly sadistic. Ah, uh, considering sadistic. Well, considering they knew. You don't think they were just bad at what they were doing, or? Well, you know. Who knows? Yeah, but, I know. But the result is the that, result that is. Uh, th these are the uh, people who have uh, the problems that we see today. Yeah, and it, and it was, it's interesting, when we see, we'll get back to it, but it was interesting because this took place in South Vietnam, not North Vietnam. Exactly. Maybe relevant because that would give us a particular co control group important yeah. in terms of understanding yeah. long-term yeah. yeah. the scientific implications of this yeah. Uh, yeah. question of dioxin, right? Yeah. Okay, and then this book, let me just go really quick. I'll just show you what a handsome book it is. Um, it's photographs. And we don't yeah. want to show them because some of them are graphic. We've selected a few, but it's a handsome book with photographs. Mm. There's about 104 photographs, I think. That's right. And it is available. Who's the publisher that bravely trolley. put it up? It's Trolley Press. Let's give them a plug, uh, right? Uh, yeah, well, indeed. And, and uh, you know, this is a, a wonderful publisher in London who... who uh, Gutsy. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. He is prepared to stick his neck out when no uh, nobody else would. No uh -huh. publisher here in America would. And I think let's uh, let's 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 see if we can't bring it up because you're going to have. Th we're talking now on um, August 31, 2005. This will air on the fifth, Labor Day, and uh, and you're having a, 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 a an opening. Yeah, on I'm the having eight. That's right. I'm having and my first. And I think we may have a card we could bring it up to yeah. let people know who might come down and see the photographs yeah. and so forth. And maybe we'll put that card it's up. But could you talk about that? And sure. then we'll get into the picture. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it's my first ever exhibition in, oh, really? um, in New York. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it's going to concentrate. Uh, there's a little bit of early work and different other wars I've covered around. Good. Your work is all good. And well, thank you. Yeah. And uh, but then uh, there, there's, it's going to it's going to concentrate a lot on uh, some war pictures, the Agent Orange pictures, and the pictures from my new book. And it's going to be at the g what gallery? Again? It's at uh, the Denise Bibro Gallery. And that's Over. where now? Well, it's uh, five twenty nine. I think is the address West Twentieth. It's Chelsea area. It's In Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's uh, and the opening. It's going to be for a while. But yeah. the opening is the eighth. Is the that 8th correct? Of, uh, Along September. about six p.m. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's people are well informed that they might want to visit that. Maybe we'll put this up again to yeah. let people know about that. And we're talking again, of course, with Philip Jones Griffins. And as we said, we have a DVD with some of the photographs, 20 or so yeah. photographs yeah. that we're going to set up as a kind of slideshow and talk over and uh, of, the, of the photographs. And I think it's fair, to, I'm not sure the ones you've, we've selected, but I think it's fair to let people know that some of these photographs are pretty graphic. Well, I tell you what, I, I, I deliberately left out the more graphic ones because we don't want to um, I didn't check what time the well, what, what, program what, was What we're demonstrating I is deformities, birth deformities, yeah. uh, terrible kinds of, uh, 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 you know, expressions of the, uh, of the lingering residue of what you claim and is probably scientifically correct, dioxin poisoning in the name of use of Agent Orange in South Vietnam yeah. during yeah. the Vietnam yeah. War. So it, it, some of them are pretty terrible, but just with that warning, maybe we could set those up and we'll run them and then we can just talk over them, Philip, okay, as yep, they put sure. these slides up. So could you maybe run those slides now? I guess we've got about 20 or so. And um, we're talking again with Philip Jones 
Griffiths, uh, fo uh, photojournalist extraordinaire. Could we run the, p the pictures now on the screen, please? Well, we seem to, I don't know, we're having some trouble or something? Huh? Well, I don't know, perhaps. I don't uh, know, maybe we could talk a little bit about, I don't know what's happening, but uh, we're trying to run the, the, the pi there we go. Here's a, okay, well, maybe you could talk about that's a picture it, taken during the war, and that's the sort of, those are the sort of toxic clouds <laughs> Mm. that uh, there, there's been a, a, a spraying going on in this area Boy. beforehand. And um, you know, we, we, we kind of lived with it. Mm -hmm. You know, my best friend uh, died um, a couple of years ago, 54 years old. Too he, young. Wa he was sprayed many times. He was a GI in, uh, in Vietnam during Think the war. Think there was a connection? Oh, and no, uh, death, no, no, question, no question. No question in your mind. Uh, no. The, uh, the mm -hmm. um, uh, Veterans Administration immediately contacted his widow and said, you, you're, you're in the clear. He's, he's definitely Agent Orange. You, you well, what are they doing to cover those? Well, things? you Maybe. never know. They may get. They may may get compensation, but you oh. never really know. Are we? Do yeah. we have more photos? We have a number of them. Yeah. Okay, there's yeah. another photo. Is that the same? Th that's one? the same one. Yeah. So could we go um, to? And I think we've got another one coming uh, any minute. Uh -huh. uh, but um, my lord, it was all over the place. I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, it was really a huge uh, cloud of stuff. That oh yes, sure. Yeah. No, no, it's it's absolutely extraordinary yeah. the way it. Um, uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, th there was something also called mist drift. I, I, even if they sprayed the area that they intended to spray, uh -huh. uh, depending on the weather conditions, it often would blow into other areas as well. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So that um, uh, it was a, a, a pretty. Uh, pretty disastrous. And you, uh, we, we picked about 20 of these, right? I guess they're going to yeah. come up with more. We're having some trouble or something getting them up on the screen. We can't seem to see them on the screen. I don't know. A um, little unusual. I don't mm. quite know why we're not showing. Well, there's, there's another one. Ah, like maybe we're in business th this now. Is, um, th this is also a picture taken. This is the effects uh, afterwards. That would have been an enormous forest. That was all time. triple forest. Yeah, your something. triple canopy forest. Yeah. And now it looks like a lunar landscape. Th yeah. That's what the And that's Agent from the Orange Agent Orange yes. did. Yeah, uh, plus a lot of bombing and occasional fire. Yeah. The problem with fires is that that burns the trees, and that makes vaporizes the dioxin, which uh, becomes much more lethal as a result. Wow. OK, well, yeah. go on to the next one, then, if we can. Mm. Uh, they're having, uh, OK. Um, I don't quite know. They're having some trouble getting them coming up yeah, as a well, slideshow. Uh, My grandfather used to have an old magic lantern. Do you remember magic lantern? Oh, indeed, yeah. He, had, he came from London. He had a magic lantern with pictures of the catacombs, and it would always be smoking and everything like that. Yeah. But I don't know what the problem is. Maybe we should not try to show these or something. Um, oh, yeah, well, here's uh, now, this is a, trouble. Th this is a fish pond. Now, the dioxin collects in, in the, the fatty material of a fish. Also, yeah. uh, And um, there, uh, uh, I hate to tell you, but uh, I ate the fish that night, because yeah. <laughs> this was long before I realized You didn't even realize it was a danger. How deadly it was. Now, if that pond existed. You weren't realizing that there was this danger as it was raining down on you or in no, the area no, you were no. at the time. At the time. But if oh this yeah. pond existed anywhere else in the world, men would go in there with special suits on, dig it all up, put it in plastic bags, take it away, and bury it down. Hazmat uh, suits and uh, yeah, they would bury it. Zone, they yeah. would bury it down a, a salt mine or somewhere. I mean, that's how toxic that area is. And um, that's from the Agent Orange? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Because oh. it, uh, one of the things it does is the water that's used in the fish ponds, it sort of, um, it seems to collect there. Uh -huh. You see in the middle of the picture, there's right. a pipe. That uh -huh. water runs in, so it, it seems to sort of collect. There's evaporation, so it, con it gets concentrated and gets into the mud of the fish pond. Uh -huh. Well, let's go on to another slide, then, if we can. I guess we have to go back and forth to us, but uh, I don't quite know why they can't go more. But anyway, so, so they're trying to get another one. How many of these slides did you select? Uh, Ten uh, or so? Uh, or? Yeah, I think there's yeah. 10 or 20, yeah. Well, um, anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a real um, uh, problem of, uh, <laughs> of not, I don't know whether, maybe you could just bring the slides up when you can. I'm sorry that they're not, there yeah. we go. Uh, here we I are. Well, now this is a, uh, the, 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 the Vietnamese are uh, trying to get everyone to plant trees because most of the countryside is denuded. Uh -huh. So here you have children um, doing the planting the saplings. Yeah. So it, it looks as if uh, everyone in Vietnam is busy planting uh, trees. Uh -huh. uh, you know, plant a tree for Uncle Ho yeah. is, is uh -huh. the admonition to uh -huh. everyone. Uh -huh. So that uh, uh, the little seedlings, and the, these are the sort of smallest seedlings which would be transplanted 
um, and, and when they're big enough, you know, they're, they're actually seated on hillsides. You had a picture of a little girl who had a thing protecting it from the rats and uh, yeah. a few little seedlings. That's right. It was a she, poignant she, picture. I don't know if you selected it. I didn't it actually, it. but she, yeah. marked, she marked off her patch yeah. with some old artillery shells. She had a very poignant uh, look yeah. on her face yeah. and everything. Oh, she was very yeah. angry. She thought yeah. I'd come to steal her uh -huh. saplings. Ah, she's, she's, she's <laughs> saplings are yeah, yeah. go up, yeah. Um, well, that's, that's really something. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, this is uh, uh, photographing these, these uh, fetuses these are which fetuses. are preserved in formaldehyde. The, the, the thing is, the, these are a couple of twins. Uh -huh. but, uh, and the one on the left, as you can see, got a very distorted brain. The brain is growing on the outside of the back of the head. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I chose a picture like this because, you know, the, they're embracing. There's mm -hmm. a little bit of nascent humanity there. Yeah. And I think that you can get away with a picture like that, whereas some of the things I've seen you really couldn't get away with. I mean, what do you mean get away with? What I mean, they're revolting. The public, they're yeah. revolting. The intelligent thing to do, the, the, the humane thing to do is to close your eyes. Uh -huh. Because yeah. uh, we, we all have a concept of what constitutes our humanness, yeah. our, our right. humanity. Right. And, yeah. and when we see... Uh, uh, gross uh, violations. Of you know, it, yeah. it's, it's not good. It yeah. upsets us. Yeah, that's why you... Re and if we're not upset, there's something wrong well, with Well, there's us. some in the book that you've tried, decided not yeah. to put on the screen, which mm. are, you know, yeah. because, yeah. And I here, I, I think this kid is not badly doing it. It's obviously got spina fibrida. You can see the legs are deformed. Yeah. But the fact that he's closing his eyes, you know, he's covering his eyes up, Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, once again, that's another picture you can get away with. Uh -huh. uh, it's, not, uh, it's not stomach churning. Mm -hmm. um, but there are huge, huge numbers of, of these. Uh, and you were taking photographs of these people in re uh, recurring trips to Vietnam. You picked up on that more recently and so forth and taken a number of yes, pictures well, well of I people. Yes, well, I think when I met the first, yeah. uh, I'll you'll see those shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, th when I met the first family, uh -huh. um, then every time I um, go back, I often go to the same place. Mm -hmm. I often uh, keep going. But until um, about 99, mm -hmm. that's almost 20 years. Here we get another. Yeah, th th mm -hmm. this is a, a very sad little boy mm -hmm. who, who's uh, yeah, been looked after in the hospital in um, Ho Chi Minh City. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's someone in large head. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he's got a whole range of conditions. Uh, uh, Dioxin causes horrible rashes on your skin, sort of really uh, pretty horrendous stuff. Uh -huh. um, there's one girl I photographed, although from her face, she's only got a few small patches <laughs> on her face, but when you see her back, Mm -hmm. Frankly, it looks like the back of a rhinoceros. She's the one who feels like she looks like an animal. That's the one. That was because, the one that because was because so point. Yeah, back, back Imagine what it does psychologically. Yeah, we're going. It's, it's horrendous. Yeah. And um, uh -huh. uh, there was a uh, a girl that was similarly affected that was actually brought over here to America for treatment, mm -hmm. and they were able to do a quite a lot of reconstructive surgery on mm -hmm. her back. Mm -hmm. um, so that gave hope to this girl, but this girl had yet to find someone who would who would uh, bring her over. Mm -hmm. And th this is a couple of um, kids who were born, uh, this is the Siamese, Siamese twins. Uh. And uh, I photographed, I think I photographed these, this couple probably in about 85, 87, something like that. They were successfully um, uh, uh, parted, they were split um, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Japan. And um, the boy on the left now, uh, although he only has one leg, because they shared legs here. Mm. Um, he, he's now working at the hospital as a sort of a hospital administrator. Mm -hmm. He's very, very smart, mm -hmm. very, very smart. Whereas his brother on the right... Still um, living, but... He's still living, but he's totally... Brain dead? Brain dead. Oh absolutely God, brain dead. Oh. Now, yeah. there are going to be people who are going to be trying to say, well, there are Siamese ch uh, children that are born without the dioxin. You're trying to say yep. the causal link between the dioxin and the birth defects is absolutely clear in your mind? It's, there's no question it's about like it. It's like a it's scientific it's thing. It's, 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 there's, no, there's no question in it. No, uh, how we're going to uh, deal with this, both in karmic terms or in or policy terms, is something that ought to be brought up in the public dialogue, it seems to me. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Some sort of recompense or something. Yeah. Here, what's this? Now, now this is a wonderful little girl I met. This is a picture I took in 2002. Is that the uh, little girl who learned to write with her toes? That's right. She's she, she is, was yeah. born with absolutely no trace of arms whatsoever. No. Uh, and uh, dioxin related in your mind, well, without a doubt. No question, because in fact uh -huh. her father worked for the old Chu government. Mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, worked for the air force, mm -hmm. and his jobs was loading mm -hmm. the, uh, the Agent Orange onto the airplanes. Oh boy. 
But and this will come yep. from either parent, or oh yeah, yeah, okay. But but and and this uh, that's that's taken in 2000 in 2004 last September. I photographed her again, and of course, those inventive Vietnamese you can't hold them back. She was now typing on a computer. God with, bless with her. her toes. And, and Too bad she had to do that. Are these things, uh, if there is a person born deformed this way, is it passed on genetically? Is it a oh genetic, yes. permanent genetic yeah, yeah. thing? Well, the, or the does it just appear phenotypically and then it, no, you know? No, not all. Th th there, are, there, there are not uh, complete answers. In yeah, right. Okay, uh, right, because, right. Because We're in new territory. In uh, indeed. Yeah. With but weapons of mass destruction. Uh, yeah, but what we have is we have people who are culturally and ethnically identical, living in two parts of the country, yeah. north that wasn't sprayed, Here south that was sprayed. Here we got another sprayed. boy, yeah. yeah. Now this boy is interesting because, <coughs> uh, he, once again, he's a little bit retarded. Mm. These extraordinary eyelids. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you he saw a lot of the things with the eyes. Oh, the, it, yeah. it affects the eyes. Yeah. Uh, Darkson seems to go for the eyes first mm -hmm. in the developing fetus. Mm -hmm. um, and here he has strange, strange things, but he has no tear ducts. And boy. as a result, uh, this picture was taken about 10 years ago, so he would have been blind by now. They reckon he wouldn't last very long. Because without the tears, you're... Without the tears, yeah. that's you, it doesn't... It's going to dry up and wither um, and dioxin related. Oh, All of this oh, is dioxin related without, without a doubt without, in your without mind. Without a doubt, yeah. Without, yeah. without any Did doubt. Did you any way to try and differentiate from those that were somehow able to be seen as dioxin related and others that might have been occurring if there was no dioxin there? Did you try and find any way to separate those well, two? Well, no, no, because... Or address the, the issue so that you could better address those who are saying dioxin yeah. is benign or something? Uh, we, 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 there's, the two, there's, 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 two, there's two avenues you can take. The first mm. avenue is that peop they're, they're, they're a, a father I, I has a wife and they have kids in North Vietnam. Mm. No, the kids are fine. E there's no problem at all. Because right? there's no dioxin. Uh, because there's no dioxin no in North Vietnam. Right? Right? Uh, and then he is enlisted and he goes down the Ho Chi Minh Trail a few times driving a truck. Mm -hmm. He's sprayed many times. Yeah. He comes back and the next three children they have are all affected. No eyes, no there limbs, spina bifida, to be lo a lots of miscarriages. Lots of there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, Here we so are now, now these are the first ones I met. Uh -huh. Now this was, uh, they, they, he, the, the, the husband of this woman had children who were fine. Mm -hmm. and, th and then these two girls were born after he'd been a truck driver on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, and they're born blind. These were the one you were talking yeah. about. They, yeah, they've got, uh, they've got eyeballs, mm -hmm. but there's no retina there. Oh, uh, boy. So that they're, they're, there's no way of curing them or giving them any kind of treatment. Uh -huh. And um, th these were actually the very first Agent Orange victims that I had ever seen. Mm -mm. So that's one line, mm -hmm. right? The yeah. other line is that if you are someone who's living yeah. next to a hot spot, yeah. a hot spot is hot where spot. is where a lot of Agent Orange was dropped, uh, um, or it was dumped, or it was got rid of by dumping it somewhere. And there are there are places in Vietnam now known officially as hot spots. They've like been located by the people from Canada, not from America. Not America like the Wi-Fi hotspots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, and now people who live next to those are, uh, are very much affected. Now, of course, you could... Ongoing. You, you could Ongoing as you and I sit uh, here and talk. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh. So when a child is born deformed, mm -hmm tomorrow morning in Vietnam, mm -hmm. you, you, you have to... Like this girl, uh, yeah. perhaps, or now, this now person? Indeed, th this is a village um, I discovered I in South Vietnam uh, where 10% of the children are born deformed. 10%? 10%. On average, it's about 6% for the whole country. Wait now, a minute. Of, of South Vietnam? Of South Vietnam. What's the average in a uh, country that hasn't been inv invested uh, with uh, uh, or uh, Agent Orange? Uh, uh, the human population? Uh, I, I don't know the exact okay. number. but it's good it, to get it, those it numbers. Well, it wouldn't, it's not 6%. It's yeah. probably point uh, three north e. 6%. Yeah. Right, or right, four right, north right, 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 you know, right, I mean, it's right. uh, infinitesimally smaller. And they didn't have it done in North Vietnam. In North Vietnam, it doesn't occur anything like that. You've yeah, got a no, control no, group. No, no, exactly. Yeah. But they, you do find children being born in North Vietnam who are deformed, but e every single case that I've investigated, the father, and once or twice the mother, was in the South really? and was sprayed in the South. Oh, be done. Right. So th that, to me, means, look, look. You've laid out a pretty good prima facie yeah, case here. Well, look, that ought to be look, picked up on look, by others. Yeah. Yeah, look, you, you, mm. you, you give dioxin to rats, mm. uh, mice, really? with a very similar genetic system. Here's a young trials. man. Yeah, now he, he was, he's pretty normal, a little bit retarded, perhaps, but on the side of his face there you can see these huge nodules sticking uh, out. Right. And uh, that, that's, uh, um, 
uh, you know, that's, that's yeah. one yeah. Of, there's such a range of things caused by dioxin uh -huh. that you, you never quite know what you're you going to see. You keep using that next. term, it's caused by dioxin it's scientifically, it, it, yeah, and this yeah. is something that seems not to have been accepted yeah. by our system. Yeah, well, okay. we'll put it this way. Yeah. You feed dioxin to rats, yeah. mice. In they, they have, they, they have done that. They have chloracne, they have cancers, they have a deformed offspring. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, the, 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 the children of American GIs, yeah. same thing happened, and that's acknowledged. Yeah, we've had GIs are affected yeah, by this. Uh, absolutely, stuff, absolutely. Haven't they? Have, have they dealt with that? In the oh, yeah. Well, the administration, administration? has no, but they sued the, the chemical companies, and as a result of suing them, the chemical company settled out of court the night before the case went to trial uh -huh. and paid out $180 million. To GIs? To GIs, which at the time was the biggest uh, payment. Has there been any initiation or anything about the Vietnamese oh that yeah, we left they behind? Have it what's it the was the, it? They, they took it to court. It was in court and it was, uh, uh, it was uh, denied. Uh, uh, a few months ago. Denied. Now, now, do, well, they, they, the it judge said they didn't have a case. Picture, yeah. yeah, now th this is a, a very sad case where this kid in the foreground, his, um, he's, 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 he's completely insane mm -hmm. and he attacks himself yeah, and everyone. So his mother, yeah, he, his mother is tying him up. Yeah, his mother is tying him up so he can't harm his brother, who's also affected. And uh, his brother sort of always has the hand up uh, up here to the forehead because mm -hmm. I, I've noticed mothers often with Agent Orange kids are to be found pinching the forehead uh -huh. like this uh -huh. because there's something here which causes around the uh, pineal, uh, pineal. As, 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 yeah there's mm. uh, there's a, a bit of relief uh -huh. uh, when when they the third uh, they, eye yeah. yeah so I think that this boy on the right he was busily sort of um, trying to uh, I don't know just touch that part of his, of his yeah, head. Yeah, you said there were some that you were with, and you would be with these people often for a day or longer? Oh, and no, I stayed and in you this, came yeah, to no. know the kid, the sure, infants yeah, too, and some yeah. of them, they were not even able to communicate hardly. Yeah. Very, very, very uh, trying yeah. situation to be uh, in. Absolutely, because, you know, the, you know, you can ignore those that are totally catatonic. You can ignore, uh, when I say ignore, you, you know that you're not able to communicate. Yeah. And those that howl like animals. Yeah, what's uh, here's, here's a kid that was completely out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he, he's totally and utterly brain dead. Mm -hmm. he, he's been like that with flies on his face since the day he was born. Diaxin related. No question about okay. it. No, no, no. I keep stressing yes, that. No, no question about because it. Because somewhere there's got to be yeah. some accountability yeah. here. You know, oh. it, it's, it's analogous to the argument over cigarette smoking, uh -huh. right? You, I don't think you, I don't think there's anyone left in the country today that will say that cigarette smoking is not connected to lung cancer. Mm -hmm. But until ten years ago, there was. Yeah. And maybe there is still a few in hiding oh, there are somewhere. Some. Yeah, there are. Yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. are a few in hiding. Humphrey uh, Bogart the, clones. Yeah, yeah. No. But, but he used to the, smoke all. Yeah, time. sure. Yeah, yeah, but but the fact yeah. is, yeah, yeah, the I understand. Fact, the science. fact is, yeah. is that it's now uh, as scientific. Now, is well, there? Well, there a are people who are standing up to scientific truth by talking. about about all kinds of revelatory uh, things well, that well, widely used in the yeah. you know, science. There, there Evolution may well doesn't be, exist. There and may and well be crazy things. There may well be a hundred. Yeah, there may well be a hundred-year-old smoker, and there may well be somebody dying. There was the oldest lady. Well, here, I'll there may be somebody dying of Who's lung it? cancer who's never smoked. Yeah. This is a kid born uh, with no, no arms, no legs, and uh, he's begging, and uh, of course. On uh, the street somewhere yeah, begging yeah, in, in Vietnam. He, he, he has to be he has to be fed by his brother, who sort of. Uh, be, but the thing about this kid is he's so smart. Uh -huh. He's so smart. He was learning English uh, when I took that picture. Oh and my God. Uh, Did you hang out with him for a while. Yeah, yeah, sure. I got to know him quite well. Uh -huh. I uh, um, I made a movie mm -hmm. in which he appeared. Made a movie. You yeah. making movies? Oh yeah, sure. You making movies? Oh, you course. are? Oh yeah, all the time. You are? Uh, all I the time, all the time. You know, it, it's... it's um, I didn't know you were making movies. No, no. No, oh, I didn't no, know that. No, I've got a whole string of movies, yeah. Uh, but... Um, but wait, wait, they haven't come out? They're not what, they're put together? No, the one... not in oh, Blockbuster? The one, uh -huh. no, the one in, that was shown in America, uh -huh. the next morning, uh -huh. um, the, the, uh, it, was a PB, it went out on PBS. Really? Uh, and both in Texas and in Florida, the vets uh, broke the windows of the station that transmitted it. Really? It was a film on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. No kidding. In I what didn't. Uh, what are you? Where is this? Is this? Uh, where is it? Are well, they in Blockbuster? Are they well, on? No, well, are they on PB? No, I don't think Blockbuster. I didn't. You, you I thought of you as a still photography photojournalist, no, 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 not no, as I'm a cinematographer. I, well, no, I. This I, is a whole side of Philip Jones well, Griffith. I was just coming out. Well, it's it's sometimes, but you know, making yeah. movies is yeah. like getting married. 
that photojournalist really, is single forever. Oh, I single see. forever. Well, you can run around. That's uh, the thing uh, we could talk uh, about yeah. a long time. Yeah, I yeah. Think. But I didn't know you made no, the movie. I, and really. I've often worked at something. I mean, the Ho Chi Minh Trail film. We yeah. went through the Ashau Valley. Mm -hmm. There were a lot, a lot of. Uh, of kids there that have been affected. So I suppose I the sensitivities uh, translate, don't yeah, they? Yeah. Into film as cinema uh, or film and absolutely, uh, still yeah. photography. Absolutely. I and, and I made a film. Uh, 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 I, I thought they were just pulling my leg when they rang me up. ITV in London said, we'd like you to make a film about what you think is going to happen to the world in the next millennium. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I said, well, I'm not going to say any things you want to hear. And they said, no, no, we've read your books. We know <laughs> what you're going to say. <laughs> uh, so I made the movie. And they, we, we've got a perfect uh, slot Venue, for it. Yeah. Uh, eight o'clock on January the 1st. Uh -huh. and you eight o'clock at night? Yeah. Wow. And you know what? Top prime. Nobody saw it. Why? Well, they were all had hangovers oh, from the I night see. before, I see. from I the thirty-first. Well, maybe they could so rerun that sucker. It, it you know, I would like to see it. Yeah. You got it on tape? Uh, yeah, somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, that's good. Uh, but uh, uh, oh, well, that's really good. I didn't realize you yeah. were doing that. How could yeah. I've known you all this time and, and I didn't and know uh, you were doing all this I, uh, film work? I wanted to uh, include something I mean, movie, on, yeah. on on Agent. I try and get a little bit of Agent Orange in, in, in whenever yeah. I can. You know, uh -huh. I think it is. I think w what happens is that you're in Vietnam and you spend time with these families, and and what. You know, we, we in the media business yeah. are so used to put people putting on an act and pretending, and mm -hmm. you know, we pretend to do this and you pretend to do that, and yeah. you're always, you know, very Art PR conscious. But, but you know, once you've lived with these people, yeah. once you stay in that mm -hmm. village, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they can't. If, but, but you know, these are real people. Yeah, the, yeah. the love and tenderness mm -hmm. they have towards those kids, no mm -hmm. matter how badly bad the kids are, no matter how to control they are, no, no matter how. Essentially, you know, inhuman they are, mm -hmm. right? Th th that love and affection is always there, um, and and uh, it affects one in the end. Um, Germans lost the Second World War. They had treated the Ju Jews horrendously, mm -hmm. and there was some accounting for that horrendous treatment at Auschwitz and so forth. Experiments, all kinds of things like that. Um, we treated people horribly, and there seems to be no accounting at all for the horrible conditions and the residue of these horrible things. What do we do with that in terms of uh, the, the responsibilities involved in that? And uh, how can it be addressed? And what do you think is the possibility that there can be an owning up in an appropriate way by this uh, empire-driven mm. nation well, of well, ours? Well, I, I think that, first of all, America should be helping w from a moral point of view. How do they do it without sort of alienating their right-wing supporters who think that, you know, we can do no wrong? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so what you say is this: you say, look, this is the thing. Every man, woman, and child in the world, mm -hmm. bar none, mm -hmm. there's no exceptions. You, me, everyone you ever meet has got dioxin in their system. Oh, the oh amount, that's huge. Yeah. The amount of dioxin in their system is harmful to their health, and I could go through a list of conditions which could be caused by dioxin. Uh -huh. uh, if you, if you, uh, uh, if I started going through the list, you'd assume that I was some weirdo who'd come up with some uh, one thing that caused every problem in the world. Okay. Right. That's so, so, you can, yeah. so you can, so you can now. this is new, too. The human know, oh, this is all the last few decades. Yeah. Uh, indeed. Mm -hmm. Very, very new. Uh -huh. So now you could say to America, look, why don't you do something positive for humanity and try to work out what it is about dioxin, how it works. There's still big question marks as how it works. We know it, uh, for some people say it's an environmental hormone mm -hmm. that sends messages to the developing fetus. Uh -huh. And, it's, uh, and it, it, sends, it tells the cells which should develop into an eye, develop into an arm, uh -huh. or don't develop into an arm, develop into something else. Stem so, cell. So all, all of that mm -hmm. is important research. And the one <coughs> place to do that research would be Vietnam, mm -hmm. because you've got this control group yeah. in the north that wasn't sprayed. And, and the they're not the doing that? There's and, no and effort? So that so way. Some so of the foundations no, might? No, 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 a little mm. bit, mm. but it's the Canadians are doing most of it. You see, it uh, wouldn't right. be anybody but us. Uh, and, uh, and, and there's a, uh, one or two foundations, you know, the Rockefeller, I think, or uh, Ford, Ford Foundation Ford, gave yeah. $150,000 a couple of years ago. I mean, th we've not owned up, damn it. Uh, exactly. No. Uh, exactly. Mm. So, so what I'm saying is that, that you could work out. It's mo morally something you should do. America's doing it for, the, for its own people and for all the people in the world, because mm. if there was a magic pill, See, once the dioxin's in your body, it mm. never leaves. Oh, dear me. It never leaves. Yeah. The only way it can leave is through mm. mother's breast milk into mm. the baby, which is oh. the last thing you want anyway, yeah. right? And uh, you could say, look, America, you could do this research. It's going to be expensive, mm. but you would come up with 
some way of alleviating the situation. Look in the right? mirror. And, in the mirror. and the place to mm. do it in is in Vietnam. And whilst you're in Vietnam doing a lot of research, you could help the people you're doing the research on. Yeah. Th that seems to me something that is Likely to doable. happen right after doable. the Red Sea part. It's, it's doable mm. yeah. and it's, it means every, no one loses face mm -hmm. you know, in, in the Asian way. Mm. That's, that would be such an easy thing to accomplish. And this book might help move the nation in that well, direction uh, in the uh, world, uh, hopefully, uh, and it well is it, it, it's a, well, it's a, it's a, I put, I, I, uh, God bless you for do putting this Well, I, I yeah. thank you, and yeah. I, I've done a lot of research, mm -hmm. you know, I did a huge amount of research, mm -hmm. and I tried to put into that book a convincing argument for doing what I've suggested. Yeah. And um, I think nothing more than a sadistic callousness by mm -hmm. the American government, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the Arrogant it stops them doing yeah, it. Yeah. Ab uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely, Mr. Acton said. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. he did. And, yes. and we haven't even been able to get to the idea of linking it. Like we got the Iraq, then we got depleted uranium, there's well, other kinds of things. A, it's a, a big issue yeah. that ought to be addressed and everything. And it seems to me we have that. The photojournalistic community can help bring that together. I didn't realize you had all this film work. I had to talk to you about that, young man. But I'm really glad you got that going. And Philip, thanks a lot. I'm sorry, run out of uh, pl uh, time here. Your pleasure to have the perception of perhaps one of the preeminent, if not the preeminent, uh, photojournalist of our time, Philip Jones Griffith. Happy to remember to caught him here when he's in New York City and let you see and have examples from Agent Orange. One and all are, are invited to come to the opening on the 8th again. The 8th, yeah. And let's see, maybe we can put that card up again about with the information. But uh, Philip, thanks a lot for coming in. Thanks a lot for a long and distinguished career and well-led life. And, and may you uh, keep uh, doing so. And thank you very much for pricking our conscience. We all need that very much. And we should follow your lead. Thank you. We'll be coming back again tomorrow. Uh, please do tune in. <laughs> That's it for now. Uh, one more time, Philip. Thanks a lot for everything. Thank you. Oh, he couldn't get at the really horrible photographs like that. You know. It's hard to, history, I and mean, it's hard to know how much. Hmm. Well, we in, have to in, in fact, uh, uh, from what, what's, uh, what's, if you really want to see a horrible one, I, uh, yeah. You, you, you take the, uh, you take the, uh, uh, fly the paper off. Oh, I see. And then, and then, then you, you can, uh, uh, then, you oh see, God. That's, that's one picture. Oh, my God. Hmm. Shall we show it? Well, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, it's a. It's it's. Uh, yeah. You see, yeah. th th this is a, a basically a sort of a two-headed baby, a yeah. two-faced baby. It's just yeah. a horror. Yeah. yeah. Well, there might be these kind of things to wake people up. Probably. Well, you know, it's you got to yeah. be very careful because yeah. I, I I think that uh, it, it's. I tried my best. Yeah, uh, I know you do. Not you not, do. not to show something that was just totally. Um, horrendous, horrendous, um, yeah. and um, yeah, I know. Uh, you know, you, you see, I, I try to always get them kind of hugging. Yeah, and this guy looks as if he's yeah. listening to this guy. That's an uh, yeah. But you see, it don't, doesn't that look like a Hieronymus yeah. Bosch in Cuba? Yeah, it does look like a Hieronymus. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And and this, yeah, I know. Uh, and here they are hugging here. Mm -hmm. this, uh, uh, You're gonna have these in the d in the exhibit? No, no, no. Some some of them, just some a few. Them, yeah. Well, um, anyway, the, and the opening September eighth. What yeah. day is that again? So Thursday. Thursday, about six. Is yeah, it? yeah. Down in Chelsea. Yeah, okay, yeah. people ought to get there. Oh my See. God in heaven! Is that the one that's on the no, back? No, it's not. That's